Hello everybody and I hope you're having a fantastic day and in this video I like to talk about the step up spawn that just came out as you can see this is a wind monster just like Heroids so it looks like the final fair pharaoh Nigris is even more better than she was before legitimately even more better than she was before because this is also an extremely nasty monster you don't want to see them pop at all and it's a wind monster just like a uh, keyroid so nigris the one with the wind lock unison effect um even is more better now because of what they just did but seriously whoa this monster is nasty seriously um this might even be better to use than Keyroy, to be fairly honest. Seriously, like, Keyroy's still good, don't get me wrong. Very helpful monster. But because of how you can really use this monster whatsoever, not, at least nowadays, um, just utilities and stuff like that makes this monster probably a better pop. And player versus player, player versus enemy, at least Keyroy has some type of role in player versus enemy. This monster is absolutely nearly useless in player versus enemy. I mean, not player, yeah, player versus enemy. <laughs> the ones with the CPUs. Anyways, moving on from there. Um, this increased activation active this increased activation priority of unison effect by one can be definitely helpful, but let's read the effects first that really come into play with this monster. Decreases the stats of all enemies by 30% for 60 seconds. This gets increased by 5 for each increase in skill level. So pretty much this can go up to 50%. 50% of a decrease. It's pretty much the same as Keyroid. Seriously, legitimately the same as Keyroid. If you manage to get the skill level all the way up, it's a 50% de of percent decrease in stats of all enemies for 60 seconds. And then we got the remove buffs. So if they have any buffs... And, and uh, like any circumstance, usually if you pop this monster, the way you're going to pop it, thanks to the unison activation priority, usually they won't have jack squat, but if they do, gets removed. So that's a really nice extra bonus right there with what it does. Seriously, like really nice. Decreases the usage gauge of all enemies by 20 and reduces the usage gauge gains of all enemies by 3 for 60 seconds. Holy smokes, and if it isn't enough, it removes the resurrection from all enemies. Now, some of you might be like, Raph, you, you, I remember you talking about um, removing resurrection from all enemies before. Not really being a helpful ability. I've been here for a long time. How is it any different now? If you guys and gals remember, we have this Divine Grace spawn out with some of the armors. It looks like A-Team thinks they were too over, like overpowered as well. They even decided to just brand new, just straight up add a monster that removes resurrection. So it looks like they were aware that these um, armors can be devastating depending on how you use them. So that's where that resurrection comes into play. And I almost clicked the uh, spawn button. I'm, I'm probably going to have to do this either way. But I almost clicked the spawn button. And that was the very devastating. But anyways, moving on from there. Why am I actually talking about the ability single-handedly? I want to talk about how they're helpful and stuff like this. This monster is overall just a great... Um, I need to pop this monster ASAP monster. Kind of like Keyroy. Remember if you were there for the grand tournaments and stuff like way before. How people would just sweat to get Keyroy on the field first and stuff like that. This is one of these monsters again. Oh my god, this is devastating. Seriously, this is really devastating. Like, <laughs> this Zeldris and Keyroy are really game-breaking monsters. Seriously, they, I'm going to say they're game-breaking. At least Keyroy. Keyroy can really change up the, like, field, but I won't say game-breaking anymore. But seriously, these are some really nice game-changing monsters. Seriously, like, holy smokes. Decreasing by 50%, removing buff from all allies, decreasing all use of gauge of enemies by 20, and reducing the use of gauge gains of all enemies by 3 for 60 seconds is really going to hurt the enemy team. It's really going to hurt them badly. Seriously, like, this is better than just running a full set, um, like, running two archers with just straight up Dasanians, I can't say the name, or something like that. Oh my, wow, like, this is really, really good, seriously. Like, even if you manage to only be able to activate this, like, some of you might be like, okay, so if I manage to pop this, how is this really going to help? Like, if the team uses a full, like, fledged unison, how is this going to help Azeroth? Like, they use five, and I'm about to use this monster. Is that, would that be any good? Would that be any good? Because nowadays, as you said, like, if people can't get Kieran on the field, this might be a hard monster to get, so how am I going to get this on the field? Um, look at this, look at this, look at this. We have increased innovation activation priority. Use an effect by one. Sorry, I mixed that up. Right here, right? 
If you look right here, sure, some of the stuff might not play like a huge role when it comes to that scenario and type stuff, but oh my, uh, I'm really, I really shouldn't even like talk about strategies on here whatsoever because sometimes they come up with really nastiest stuff. Maybe some people already realize it, but seriously, it's just resources and utilities at this point. Um, if you look right here, it has the reduced Unisigage gains of all enemies by 3 for 60 seconds, with the activation priority of the unison effect by 1. If you manage to do a nasty, um, I can't say her name, Benavirza? Ben I don't remember, it's the one with the scissors, the love or hate, the cost killer. You could pop that and combo with this monster right here. Because sure, none of the stuff might play a big role when it comes to that scenario, but regardless of all that, they will have reduced usage gains of by three for 60 seconds that's a solid yes like even if your team manages to die and they manage to pop their unison a lot of those stuff won't really come into huge play unless they're using like a like the debuff might come into a good play to be fairly honest seriously but um for the most part, except for the D-Puff, none of that comes into play, except for Unison Gauge Gains. The Unison Gauge Gains is going to go with them in the Crystal Assault, and it's really going to hurt them. Like, if they don't have a team that already has Unison in the deck, they're not getting Unison next round. It's it's probably never, ever, like, ever going to happen, to be fairly honest. So, oh my, wow. Um, Final Pharaoh just got buffed to be fairly honest because this is a nasty monster and you never want to see this on your field ever seriously you re you really don't like it's really freaking bad wow yeah if you manage to pop this with that monster she kills cost this one kills you so got gains you're really just gonna hurt the enemy team first crystal saw oh my like you're not even playing fair anymore it's not even a fair battle to be fairly honest and we got maria to wrap up the combo and everything with the new divine grace spawn monster g louis they are really uh going ham with this unison activation priority seriously but anyways moving on from there yeah very nice monster if you could get your hands on this grub i i definitely would even though it's completely random and to be fairly honest you getting it is probably not going to it's it's possible the rates are dead but there's a lot of other monsters in here besides this one that you might be able to get either way. But let's actually talk about the step up spawn before this gets too long. Okay, so for the step up spawn, it's the usual 46 gems. I almost said 45 gems. Step up spawn. Very nice step up spawn. This step up spawn came a long way. It's one of the best free to play or one of the best monster spawns is what i no no it's not the, it's like the second best monster spawn in the game to be fairly honest with you you definitely want to do this if you can the only setback you will have is literally random stats for your monster other than that you're going to be getting something that all these monsters almost all these monsters except a few ironically 35s have good abilities seriously most of these monsters you will grab here a few of them don't really have useful abilities but the rest have very very good abilities that can be used seriously in a general standpoint at least they may not be able to be used on really super super hard missions like restrictive missions like only use element unisons and stuff like that but for a general standpoint in most missions you will do these monsters can be pretty dang helpful regardless of what you pull from the list of 35 to 33 costs to be fairly honest and they're one of the best ways to awaken if you have actually like raw dollars i think it would be better for you to go in the recommended pack right and oh i think they uh that i think it's gone Oh no, it's still here. Potential unlocking packs would be a lot better of a choice. As you know, the step up spawn varies from, uh, what's it, 33 to 35. It's definitely possible to get a 35 on your first try, but it's actually more likely to get a 33 or 34 on your first try. As you may know, the higher the cost, the lower the rates. And here, you're just straight up, how much is a, um, how much is the, uh, gems in here 37 that's 90 that's two spawns right there 
Well, instead, you could be guaranteed with two spawns a 35 cost awakening Neo Neo. If you need to just awaken your 35 cost, and that's really one of the only reasons you're doing the step up spawn, you could get a 35 cost awakening Neo Neo in here and 40 gems on top of it. So these are better deals right here if you're just trying to get awakening and you're not really too worried. I mean, 33, it can be a bit iffy, it looks like. Let me check. I'm not exactly 100% sure. Um. Yeah, it could, it could be a bit iffy to be fairly honest because you're guaranteed a 33 cost or higher. And honestly, when it comes to 33 cost awakening new news, you could just pop a 30, you could get a chance to get a 35 monster in here. But honestly, if you're trying to get 35 cost awakening material, the recommended shop does better. Other than that, I'd stick to the step up spawn to be fairly honest because you might get something better than a 33 cost. In the, awaken in the awakening pack, it's set what you're going to get. And here it's not. It could vary from 35 to 33 to be fairly honest with the new monster that just came out as well and this monster is pretty dang nasty seriously so definitely even if you if you're new to this game you definitely want to do this even if you aren't new to this game um check and see if you have a lot of monsters in here you want or perhaps you have awakening material 35 stay to the uh, recommended shop if you're looking for 35 awakening material if you're not if you're looking for anywhere between 30 34 um 35 would probably also it really depends if you really want to do the step up spawn or you want to do the shop to be fairly honest still either a good deal either way 33 you definitely want to do the spawn because you might get a 34 or 35 on top of it to be fairly honest with you so yes definitely really nice spawn most monsters have pretty great abilities if you're starting off and if you aren't starting off still a very nice spawn they offer really good monsters in here and they offer great awakening material um, depending on how far you are, you might actually want to save up for when they come out with really nice Divine Grace or Treasure Spawns like this. If you're like 800k, this probably ain't gonna help you unless you're trying to get like, maybe a different Aquarius. Or like a, um, the new monster that just came out. Or like Tomboy Magician for Guild Battles, this, uh, monster right here. So... That's pretty much the step up spawn and what's so not. Am I going to be doing the step up spawn? I'm only 650k maximum. I got some monsters right here that really need awakening. And I can replace some too. I'm not too happy with just straight up 33s anymore. So definitely, I could definitely do the step up spawn. If I can manage to get some hero monsters, archer stats, uh, it's going to help me a lot in the long run. Seriously, it's it's going to help out a lot. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching and I hope this helped out. This is the Azraf and I'll catch you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.